life on the farm is kind of laid back Ain't much an old country boy like me can't hack It's early to rise, early in the sack I thank God I'm a country boy Well, a simple kind of life never did me no harm Raising me a family and working on the farm the Days are all filled with an easy country charm Thank God I'm a country boy Hi folks, today we'll be setting up our chicken pen For our little chicklings that'll be coming in... Tomo and tomo tomorrow, I believe, and we'll be getting them ready, our pen ready for the chicks. So our first step is we're going to be putting wood chips in the um, tub for, for bedding and for comfort for the chicks. So we're going to put about an inch and a half to two inches of wood chips into the pen. As you can see, the flakes are pretty large, and that screwdriver didn't work the best, but we'll just get these wood chips in here. Might have to sprinkle them in at first. I'm not exactly sure how they got the, to pounder. I'm not exactly sure how they used this in the summer, this tub, because they could have usually, usually used the creek in the summertime so i'm gonna get these chips in and then i'll be right back all right now that we've got our wood chips in we're gonna want to add our feed into our containers and get our water jugs ready to go into the pen all right so this is a um neutrina brand um chick feed it's called nature wise and it's 18 percent crude protein and it's got plenty of vitamins and minerals to help with muscle growth and whatever the chicks need to start healthy and stay healthy. So we're going to open it up and fill up that feeder. Now this feeder, most people think that you'll, you'll see feeders with like the holes and what whatnot. Well, this feeder, this is a spinning thing on top because some ch uh, chicks, and when they get older, they can just stand on top of the ones with the big holes or the holes about that big you know and they can end up going um and crapping in the feed and when they're st they can't stand on this they'll spin so then they can't stand on it and they can't go to the bathroom in the feed so we're gonna get this feed out and fill her up as you can see it's kind of it's your basic um chick feed crumbly and good to the pellets or whatever so that the chicks can gobble it up and Eat it nice and easy. All right, so another thing I liked about this feeder is you can take the spinning thing off to put feed in. So that's what I'll do now is I'll just take some handfuls and try not to spill too much and just fill in that feed. And if you're new, um, this is Farm Life SD, obviously, and we try to post... Mondays and Fridays, and this is a Wednesday video, and we're going to start posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so that you can learn more about the channel, and we're going to be being a lot more busy on the farm, so we'll be able to get a lot more video opportunities. I know that tomorrow I'll be going with Grant, and we're going to get some more tillage talk videos for you guys, and I know everybody... Not everybody knows this, but the tillage talks are every single Friday. Um, they're not every, but they're always on Fridays. But they're every other Friday, every two weeks, we got a tillage talk for you guys ready on Friday nights. We try to post at about seven to eight, and if we're never on, we're never really perfect. So sometimes we're a little later if we have to work on some stuff, but. Well, um, besides that, those video ideas for you guys, um, just let us know how you like them tillage talks and if you'd like any more improvements on the videos so that we can make the channel better for you. Well, now I got this feeder filled up and I'm just going to set it right on in here and then the chicks can come along and eat it right up. So now I'm, we're going to get the water ready. So this is our water. It's five quarts and... Just unscrew the top and 
It's got a handle on top, so if you ever want to, like, have it off the ground or for some reason, then you can. But we can just screw off the top, and what you do, like, like your dog waterers and whatnot, is you can, um, the air just travels in, and water comes out the bottom, and then it works like a charm, so we'll fill this up. Now you can see the inside where the water would come out and then it travels around the ring. Now we're just gonna fill this up here. Um, that situate. Filling up the water, the pump makes quite a bit of noise, but what do you do? This water will probably last them a few days, even though we got 25 chicks, it'll look pretty nice, so. All right, now, I realize you can balance it on the bottom, which makes it a lot easier. So then you just take your thing on top to get it in place. You can see underneath there, and then you just gotta take it over, and then twist it, and then you'll be good. Now I'm just gonna carry it over like this. I'm just gonna carry it like this so that the water doesn't travel out. And then once we're, um, we're almost to the pen and then I'll sh here we go, I'll show you that the water will run right out, right away. Also, besides having chickens, we're hoping you might get some ducks as well. So there you go. Now you can see how it ran out of there and we're ready for chicks, it looks like. Um, we got a good amount of water. Um, we got our heat lamp set up. Um, we accidentally broke a light a couple a day ago and got to get that hooked up. But we, this one's working nice. Usually you see them at the stores where they're hanging up above. But we don't have that, so we got them hanging on the sides. It'll work nice though. And then here I'll plug this heat lamp in so you can see it. And the... We use this cord where it's a three-point extension, mostly for like Christmas lights. Before we moved to the country, most people don't know it, but um, like our Wyoming light, I grew up in town, and they like our Wyoming life. Go, be sure to subscribe to them, turn on the notifications. They've also got really good merchandise. Um, but this is um, what we'd use for Christmas lights to go outside. So. Now I'll just um, turn on the switch here, and then it'll be good to go. All right, you can see how the light, uh, the heat lamp gives off quite a bit of light. And it's already giving off heat right away, um, which what we'll, we'll do. We'll definitely not leave it at that angle. We'll, we got it down like that, and that'll actually work really nice because it gives off heat. And then we'll have this one over here, and we might... And then, you know, the chicks will all want to be about under the heat, but once they get bigger, they'll spread out. And we can have this heat lamp over here, so then when they're eating, they stay warm. Because it's only about 45, 50 degrees in here, because we're never in here. Saves electricity and stuff like that, but then we will be ready for chickens and ducks. And it's a very exciting time. We'll get them tomorrow morning from our local store. Like I said, some white ones some black ones, and of course your Rhode Island Reds. And it'll be a great, exciting day for when I get home. I'll have to make another video for Monday. And then we'll have that tillage talk for you on Friday. And hopefully we'll be able to get in the field very quickly here. So have a great day, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, be sure to comment on the video, and be sure to like the video. And... Um, if you're, if you're a subscriber, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and also turn on that notification bell and then you'll be good to go for every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to tune in for our videos. So have a great day.